People have realized that oysters are one of the most important species that we can find in the southeast of the United States. And once you explain to them that oysters are a really important species, both, both for the structure they have and for um, clarifying the water, purifying the water, that they're just excited to help. Uh, I've had hundreds of people actually call me to say, can we help? if oil comes in? And the answer is yes. Um, if we are dealing with tar balls or things like that, we will just get as many people out here to remove as much as possible. So in the Gulf of Mexico with the oil spill, what it does, it has just brought up to the surface the amount of restoration that's really needed in the Gulf of Mexico. But what we're trying to do is assess, regardless of the spill, what is needed for restoration? What was the historical um, what was the historical extent of oyster reefs in the Gulf? We don't know that, but we're trying to figure that out and restore this habitat that is the most critical marine habitat in the world right now. The state of Florida is doing their own surveys and the National Park Service is doing separate surveys. And we've actually been working with both groups to help them um, where to monitor, what to monitor, um, how to monitor it, especially with oyster reefs. And we've given them all of our baseline data. And that's probably one of the best things that's come out of the whole oil spill is that everybody in Florida, all the researchers from all the agencies, the universities, um, the nonprofits have all gotten together and all the data has just been put into this giant clearinghouse so that everybody has it.